What's stopping you from learning R? The only thing stopping me is knowing how to import a data set. Is that all? I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna show you three top secret ways that the government doesn't want you to know about to import your data set. And just why would the government not want you to know it? I don't know, but maybe it'll inflate my view counts. So the first way I'm gonna talk about is using a native data set within an R package. The second is by importing it through the file menu. And the third is by using a function to import your data set. So let's check it out, shall we? Isn't my ah lovely? So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is using a data set that is already in an R package. And this is rare. Most of the time, the data set you need to analyze is not in somebody's R package, unless you're taking one of my stats classes. If you're taking my stats class, then the data set probably is going to be in Flexplot because it's just easy to do it that way. As an example, in the Flexplot package, which I developed, there is a data set called Avengers. And to load it in, you can say data and then Avengers or the name of the data set. Now that used to be required. I don't think that's required anymore. It seems that R updated things and you don't have to say data Avengers anymore. I think once you load Flexplot, it automatically loads the Avengers data set into R's memory. I guess. Anyway, and then of course, as before, we can do str avengers to look at information about the data set. So fancy, fancy. So that's the first way. Again, probably gonna be rare unless you're taking a stats class or doing some sort of learning. But if you're analyzing data for your own research, probably not gonna happen. So the second way is to use the file menu. And so to do that, what I can do is I can go to file import data set and there are lots of different options if you have an spss file or a sas file or a stata or an excel uh, most of the data sets that i provide are in csv format because they're just easy to read but but you would obviously choose whatever format your data set is in so i'm just going to go to my downloads folder and just pretend i downloaded it and then find the avengers data set which is right there and then it gives you this little box that asks you information because it wants to make sure that it imports it correctly. Most important on this page probably is this right here. It shows you what it will look like as R reads it in. And so notice in bold it has the column labels and then non-bold is the information. So sometimes you might have something that looks a little different like that. Maybe it will miss the column names. Uh, the only thing that I really ever adjust with this is um, the heading. So if you go no, then it will assume the first row in the data set is a variable, not a variable name, which would be a bad idea in this case because then it's going to say your first observation is IQ and then it will say, hey, IQ is a character and it's going to assume that everything is a character. So all your numeric information is going to kind of sort of be lost. So you don't want to do that. Uh, but hopefully most of the time your columns are labeled already. And then once we do that, we click on the import button and then it imports our data set. And when it imports our data set, it shows some information in the console, which I'll talk about in a minute, but it also opens up the data set uh, just so you can see it if you want. I'm not gonna bother with that. Now, remember earlier I said, you want to make sure that your file is self-contained. It's a final draft that you could always just run it from the beginning. What you would not wanna do is have to do that whole process every time, go to file import, because that's introducing human error possibility. And so usually what I would do is if you're going to do that is I would copy this code below. So I'm hitting command C and then I'm going up here and I'm hitting command V. Now I usually call my data sets D cause it's easier. Um, so anyway, now that I have done that now, if I close R and then reopen it again, instead of having to go to file import, I can just read this document from the beginning and it will work. So that is the second way by using the file import feature. The third way, and I think is maybe not the easiest, but the most convenient certainly is using read.csv. Of course, this is only going to work if you have a CSV file, um, but there are also other ones like read.excel and read spss or read i think it's read.sav or something like that but to actually manually type the code so rather than going to file import and then copying and pasting instead you can just type in directly read.csv this last option is very convenient if you're using our projects because if you look at my project folder right here my data set is contained within my project and all i have to do is type in data forward slash avengers.csv and of course, like I said earlier, 
R can read in lots of different types of files, like SPSS files, Excel files, SAS files, etc. And what I would do is if you are importing the data set from one of those unusual ones, I would probably go through the file menu, so use option number two, and be sure to copy and paste the line of code into your document so you have a self-contained document from here on out. Look at that! That was easy! If that's all that was stopping you from learning R... Now you're a master! Hope that helps. Before we end this lovely video, why don't we just review our learning objectives? That sounds like fun, huh? Number one, understand the three ways to import a data set. Using a native data set built into some R package, using the file menu and then copying and pasting that code into your document, and then just using R code like read.csv. Number two, understand what you need to do if you do import your data set with the file menu. And again, like I said, make sure that after you import the data, you copy and paste that code into your document so that your document is self-contained. That's all there is to it. Lovely, 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 brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. We're having fun. I hope you're having fun. Let's go ahead and see you in the next video. Peace out.